Hello everyone, this is Steven, and welcome back to another phonograph video. After a very, very long time, I think it's been almost a year, but... Here is my Edison Standard phonograph once more, except this time... It has an original horn, and... I, uh, I got it recently at the, uh... Past, uh, Wayne, New Jersey phonograph show. And, um, it's all original, and I've been looking for a nice original, original horn for a long time. This one, this one fit the bill perfectly. The paint on the horn is in very good condition overall, except for that one little spot right there. There's basically next to no scratches on it. As you can see, the bell is very shiny. It's so shiny, in fact, that you can see me in it. So, yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to show you the before and after pictures on screen right now, but my goodness, that is the shiniest horn. And the shiniest original horn, that is, that I've ever seen, I think. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looked like after, uh, a bit of polishing and flits. My goodness, what a difference is it? Um, so today I'm going to be playing you a new cylinder that I've recently gotten called the Liberty Bell March. Well, you may know it, it's uh, been made very well known by Monty Python since that's their theme song, but it was originally written by John Philip Sousa, and it's, it's a very nice march, and I hope you enjoy it. The Liberty Bell March, played by the Edison Military Band. Well, there you go. A really nice, clearly recorded uh, version of the Liberty Bell March by John Philip Sousa. Um, only slightly worn. I was surprised to find it. It's in very good condition for a cylinder of its age. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed. And also, I'm going to be recording a bunch of other phonograph videos consecutively, so you can look forward to uh, more in the following days. Alright, thanks for watching.